All right, so before I start, I just want to go over one thing here. Um, when we were talking about temperatures, <clears throat> we wrote that to find the final temperature, we have to take the starting temperature and add the change, and that would give us the final temperature. So let me abbreviate this. So I'll write final equals the starting temperature plus change. Now, from this equation, I can get two other ones by um, isolating either S or C. So let's say I wanted to find out, I wanted to um, find a starting temperature. Well, we can manipulate our equation here, right? So that this, instead of saying F equals something, I would like it to, 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 to make it look like that where we're looking for S, starting equals something. So how do I rewrite this equation? so that it's written, written in terms of S. Well, I want S by itself, right? And in order to have S by itself, remember, I can subtract C, right? And if I subtract C from this side, I will subtract C from that side. These two Cs will go away because plus C minus C is zero. S comes down. And on the other side, I have F minus C. So starting temperature is the same. To find a starting temperature, you're gonna take the final minus change. Not only will this apply for, ch uh, for temperatures, but will apply in you know, a lot of other situations as well. And I think you will, when we start, when we do our problems that are coming up, you'll see <coughs> how they can be used. So, and likewise, what if I, likewise, what if I want to find a change? How do I rewrite this equation so it's written in terms of C? So again, let me write it here, F equals S plus C. I want to subtract, I want C by itself, so I can subtract S on this side, and I, if I subtract S from one side, I want to subtract S from the other side. These two S's go away, because one S minus S is just zero. C comes down, and I have F minus S. So if you want to find the change, um, you can do the final temperature minus the starting temperature. Okay, so those will come in handy. Let's see if we can apply there. So here's our first question. On the temperature rose, for the temperature was at negative 5. So if you do a horizontal number line, here's 0, here's negative 5. It went from here all the way to 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, so obviously it got warmer, it increased. So what was the change here? Well, how much did the temperature rise? So you wanted to change, right? We know the starting, we know the final. What was the change in temperature? So how do we write change before change is the final temperature minus the starting temperature? So change equals F, which in this case is 12, minus negative 5, which is the starting temperature. So C equals 12. And again, if you want to rewrite this as an addition problem, you can, and that becomes 12 plus 5. So the change in temperature was 17 degrees. So that's how much the temperature rose in 24 hours, 17 degrees. <clears throat> An elevator starts at the ground floor, it goes up. So we can, let's <clears throat> represent the situation here in with using integers. So starting on the ground floor, it means that you're at zero. It goes up seven, so plus seven, right? Because it's going up. And then down nine. So now the down nine, you can actually write it as plus negative nine. Or if you wanted to do zero plus seven and then do minus nine, that's also two. That's also okay. So you have two ways you can rewrite uh, write that uh, problem. Now, zero plus seven is seven, and seven plus negative nine is just negative two. So what floor are you on? On the, on the second two floors on the ground. Richard's overdrawn, so I no, I, I apologize for these questions. When I check an account or even golf questions. Not too many of you have a checking account, or neither. Not too many of you have a bank a checking account. Uh, sorry, not too many of you play golf, or not too many of you have a checking account. So it's very, not really, unrelated to you. But anyways, overdrawn means that you used more than you have. So your bank is at negative 15, right? So if you use more than you have, that's how we represent overdrawn. Put that in parentheses. He writes a check for seven dollars. So if you write a check, you're actually paying someone or buying something. For seven dollars, so again, you can write it as minus seven. Sorry, minus seven or negative fifteen plus negative seven. 
Whichever one is easier for you. Both of them are correct. Um, and you'll find your answer is you are negative 22. <clears throat> the enrollment at Temple Junior High School has a chance of negative 60 over a period of, of uh, over a three year period. What's the average change per year? Oh, the enrollment has a change of negative, fix, negative 60. Okay, so that means that the number of students in that high school had a change of negative 60, it dropped 60 students, right? So you had X amount of students, and it, then over three years, it just dropped. I don't know, maybe they moved away, found a new school or something. So what is the average? So how many kids they lose per year? So this would be a division problem. And I know we didn't go over it, but you know, uh, division follow the same rules as uh, multiplication. So negative 60 divided by three, a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So we can say that in average, the school lost 20 students per year. <clears throat> okay, Tanya's baked goods took in 175 to raise money for the Chorus, chorus Club. She needed 20, 32 for baking supplies, why not evaluate an addition expression to find how much profit she made. So actually they are specific. So they want you to write an addition expression. So it has to be something plus something, and that's gonna give us how much money she made. Well, she took in 175, so she made, so she sold $175 worth of, of goods, of cookies and cakes and stuff. But those cookies and cakes or whatever she made didn't come out of thin air, so she had to buy, right? The supplies, the flour, the, the chocolate, or, you know, the, the raisins, the oatmeal, etc. And that all cost $32. But that's her expense, so her expense will be written as negative $32. Okay, so at the end of the day, how much did she really make? Well, it's 175 minus 32, so three, four, so she took in $143. <clears throat> Six, Jeff saw seven identical with withdrawals on his bank statement. They came to a total of 315, but how much did each withdrawal change Jeff's account? So withdrawal means he took away a certain amount of money seven times. And whatever this was, it was seven identical values, right? So how much money? Um, did it, was each withdrawal okay? So <clears throat> the total is seven three fifteen. So obviously, if he took right, if he took money away from his bank, it's a negative. So he's at it, it's it's a uh, what do you call? It? We represent by negative integer. So negative three hundred fifteen. That's what came out of his bank. Divided by seven because he did that seven times and. Every time he did this withdrawal, it affected his bank account negative 45. Okay. Seven, when Alex went to work, the temperature was negative two. When he got home from work, the temperature raised 14. What was the actual temperature when he go when he got home from work? So here is we want the final temperature, right? So it was a negative two. So think about the thermometer. He's at negative two right now. It went up 14. Right, so when he got home, what was the what was the what, do you call, what was the temperature when he got home? So we have the starting temperature, we have the change, and this is the change. So in this case, we're looking for the final temperature. Right? So final is the starting temperature plus the change. The starting temperature was negative two. I'll put in parentheses and plus the change is fourteen. Why is it positive fourteen? Because it went up. So. When we got when he got home, what was the temperature? Well, negative two plus fourteen is just simply twelve. <clears throat> eight. Anton records is outside temperature eight a.m. and at noon every day. Today at eight a.m. the temperature was negative three. Okay. At noon the temperature was one. So let me do this like this. Eight a.m. Twelve. PM, so it was negative three at 8 a.m. and it was one. What was the change in temperature from 8 a.m. to two? So change, 
we wrote down change is the final temperature minus the start. The final temperature was 1 minus the starting temperature, which was negative 3. Right? So the temperature was 1, and we changed that to addition if you like, 1 plus 3. And either way you do it, you get 4. So the change in temperature was 4 degrees. Okay? <clears throat> Nine and hot air balloons at elevation of 425. It descends 110 feet. What is the elevation of the balloon now? Well, use an addition equation again. So, uh, represent this situation using addition. So, <clears throat> if it's at 425, it's obviously balloons can positive 425 because it's above ground. It descends. So, plus if it descends, are we adding 110 or is it? Is it plus 110 or is it minus or plus negative 110? Well, in this case, it's going to be plus negative 110 because it's descending. Descending means to go down. So our answer is going to be 315, I think. Yeah. So where is he now? After that, he's still above the above ground at 315 feet above ground. <clears throat> Seagull is gliding 53 above feet above the water. He dives 70 feet to catch a fish. How much? How many feet below the surface of the water does a seagull dive? Well, I think this one is easier for you to draw. Think about it. Here's a seagull. Right. So his height right now is 53. It says that it dives, right? <clears throat> so it's going to dive and he's going to catch fish around here. Here's the fish. Can I draw a fish? Right, he's got to draw it to catch the fish over there. Um, how many feet below the surface of the water does a seagull dive? Well, here we have the starting, right? We know we have start, we, we have the change, the change is 70, and we're looking for the final. So if we do that, let's see if that works. Final equals start, which is a 53, a positive 53, plus a change, plus a change. In this case, the change, we're going to write negative, sorry, sorry, negative 70. 53 plus negative 70 is negative uh, 17. The question says, how many feet below the surface of the water does a seagull what dive? So <clears throat> the actual answer for 10 it would be 17 feet. They're asking you for the distance, and the distance is 70 feet. Can't be negative 17. 11. A bank account says she has negative 25, so there we go. She deposited, so if you use an addition, we can say plus. Deposit means positive. We're moving to the right on the number line, so plus 47. What's her balance? Well, so if she was at negative 25 and you add 47, she no longer will be in debt, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to have a little left, extra left over, and that's going to be 22. 12, a stock falls 7 points each day for 2 days. What's, which integer represents a changing stock price for the 2 days? So, two ways you can do that. You can, so a talk, stock falls 7 points, so falling 7 points will be represented by negative 7. And he repeats that for 2 days, so you can do a negative 7 plus negative 7. Or negative seven times two. What's a change in price? What's the which integer represents a change in stock price? Well, obviously, either way you do it, negative fourteen. <clears throat> Thirteen. Sasha is playing golf, miniature golf. She recorded scores as above or below par. The number of expected strokes per given hole. She scores three below par. So. Par, think of par as zero. Okay, so, right, so if you're playing golf, the lower, actually in golf, the lower the, your score, the better player you are. So think of it zero as being par. So she scores three below par on the first hole, so that, that means three below par. Whoever made this question doesn't play golf. So that means that she's at negative three. And one below par on the second hole. So, 
Now draw this one for the second hole. So on the second hole, she is, so the first hole she scored negative three. That's what they said. She's negative three. And on the, uh, she scored three below par on the first hole and one below par. So on the second hole, she got negative one. Right, so one below par, one below zero. What's this combined score after, after the two holes? Well, <clears throat> in the first hole, she got a negative three. In the second hole, she got a neg negative one. So we could combine four, it's negative four. Combined score is negative four. Is it possible negative three? Yes, but it's it's very very uh, mini golf. Why? It must have been a par four on mini golf, and she got uh, an albatross. Uh, anyways, fourteen. The ratings for TV show dropped a total ten points in two weeks. What integer represents the average change in points per week? Well, again, negative ten, right? Because that dropped two weeks. So we want, to do, we want to see how much it drops per week. We'll divide that by two. It means it dropped negative five points per week. <clears throat> Fifteen. After finishing his workout, Justin's heart rate decreased three beats per minute for each of the next four minutes. Okay, so decreased three beats. So let's write that negative three for the next four minutes, so let's go times four, and that gives me negative 12 beats in the next 12, four minutes. What was the change in rates after four minutes? Well, after four minutes, it would be negative 12. <clears throat> the stock price started at 33 points on May 1st. Fell all month, dropping a total of 19 points. So we'll start at 33, drop 19. So you can either write plus negative 19 or minus 19. Okay. In June, okay, so it was 30, 33, dropped 19. In June, in June, it went up 24. Okay, so what is the net gain or loss for the plastics during the entire period? Well, well, it's 33 if you add plus 19, you're gonna get 14, right? And then if you add 24, it's gonna go up to 38. Okay, so basically the stock moved up five points. It was at 33, and it just went, to, you know, after two months, you know, even though the it went down 19 and then up 24, it ends up 38. So from the 33, it just went up 5 points. Depends on how you look at it. <clears throat> 17. Treasury for the Tahoe Middle School Art Group took in 502 for selling art. A company, a major company, also donated 630. The, the club spent 1005 writing value in addition expression to find how much money was in the treasury. Okay, so they made 502. Positive. Somebody donated 630, so that's also positive. And then they spent 1,145, so you can write plus negative 105. And that's gonna give us 27. So in total, how much money did they have left over? They have this much left over at the end. Oh, sorry, let me write a negative here. Temperature drops two degrees each hour for five hours, which integer represents the change in temperature over five hours. So temperature is here, it drops two, another two, another two, another two, another two. Well, if it keeps dropping two degrees for five hours, well, you can do it either two way. It drops two degrees, negative two, that's the representation, times five hours, negative 10. Or you could have done negative two, negative two, negative two, Negative two plus negative two, right? It's keeping it's keep going further and further to the left on number line, right? Colder and colder, or if you did a <coughs> vertical number line for down and down. Okay. Nineteen, they played again miniature golf, scored Richard scored negative three, called score negative one. What was the difference in their score? What was the change in their score as well? Write that number line for this one. Here's Richard. Well, here's zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Here's Richard. That's his score right now. 
and here's Carlos at negative one. What is what was the difference in their scores? Well, the difference was two points, right? One, two. Patrick buys stock for six dollars a share. The first month, the stock lost twelve dollars. What is wrong? I didn't make this question, by the way. Stock is for six dollars a share. The first month, stock lost twelve. The next month, it gained four. How much is stock worth now? Okay. So six, right? Was the initial price positive six plus lost twelve? We can write it as plus negative 12. And the next month again goes positive 4. Or you could have write it as 6 minus 12 plus 4. You get the same exact answer. 6 plus negative 12 is negative 6. And then negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So the company is doing pretty bad. Steve is playing an online video game at the beginning of his turn. He has a score of negative 150, so let's write that. At the end of his turn, so he starts with did. Something happens, and then he ends up, his final score ends up being negative 50. So, what are we looking for? We're looking for the change, right? We don't want, what happened to that? Was that a positive change or negative? Did it do better? Did it do worse? So we want to change. So change, how do we find change? Change is the final score minus the starting score. So the final score was negative 50 minus the starting score, which was negative 150. Change that to addition. And we get 100. So did he improve? Yeah, he was a negative 150. So think about a number line here. He was a negative 150. He went up. 100, oh, there's a zero somewhere over here. He went up 100, right? He's still in the negative, but he is at negative 50. <coughs> 22, number of students in seventh grade had decreased 13 students each for the last three years. But at the end of the year, how many fewer students are in the seventh grade? Well, <coughs> decreased by 13, so negative 13 every year. How, many, how often does that happen for three years? So negative 39 students, so we are down negative 39, or we can just say 39 fewer students. Right? That, that should be your answer. 23, Judy hiked down the north rim of the Grand Canyon until she was an elevation height of 1,245 below sea level. So, uh, hike down. So here is floor. So she hikes down. So right, let me just make a straight line. She hikes down. She's at negative 1,245. She takes a rest. She hikes down 475 more. So minus 475. And then she goes up from there. 544. So where is she now? So let's put this as a as, as an expression here. So she goes down this this far, right? 1,245 below sea level, uh, and then she stops, and then she goes down a little bit more, and then she goes back up 544 meters. Well, she's, she's still going to be below sea level, so she's going to be a negative something, and. Um, <clears throat> She's going to be at 1,176 feet, yes, meters, sorry, below sea level. Okay. 24, each, mar each month Shirley has $55 deducted from her bank account for her cell phone bill. What integer represents the deduction for the year? So $55, negative, right? That's representing the deduction times 12. 12 months in a year, so $606, which is not that bad. 25, an elevator takes its passenger two flights down from the lobby, the parking garage, which integer represents this distance? What's the absolute value of the distance? So 
Um, here is where you are at the lobby. If you go down, you go down two. So the integer representing this would be negative two. The absolute value of negative two would be two. <clears throat> Twenty-six. A hiker is three thousand feet above sea level. Here is in sea level. He's somewhere over here. And he takes a what? It takes a break. Okay, and then right, he's at three thousand feet. He, and he came all the way down to twenty two hundred. What was the change? Right, so this is my start. This is my final, and then that includes change. So again, remember, change equals final minus start. Change the final. He's at negative two thousand. Sorry, positive. Mm -hmm. 2,200 minus the starting elevation, which was 3,000. The change is negative 800 feet. That's the change. Okay, in elevation. 27. An airplane descends at an average speed of 215 per second. So if it's descending, oh, did I have a pink track? Right, so let's represent that as negative 215, right, because it's going down times seven, what's the change in altitude? Well, obviously it's going down, so 215 times seven is 215 feet per second. So times seven, it means that the change in elevation, he's going to, the airplane's going to lose 1,505 feet. Negative times the positive is a negative. Right? <clears throat> so all these problems that we're doing, you know, for you to be able to translate it, <coughs> write it as a numerical expression, but it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Scuba diving in the ocean, he dove 65 below sea level, so here's the ocean, and here's his, negative 65. He climbed 18, so he climbs 18 up to take some picture. So if he climbs 18, where is he up? So climb 18 would be plus 18. So he was a negative 65 plus 18, where is he now? So that would be the final, isn't final start plus the change. So there we go, the starting depth plus 18 because he's going up. So he's still underwater, but he is at <clears throat> 47 feet, negative 47 feet. 29, the temperature in three cities in New York was taken. Buffalo, the temperature was negative 5, 5 degrees in New York City, and Sorry, in Rochester it was five degrees, and New York City was zero. What's the lowest temperature? Well, again, it's, well, it's not whether it's easy or, or difficult. It's about, it's, you know, about your interpreting, knowing what tools to use. So I would use a number line here. So here is zero, one, two, one, two three, four, five degrees positive, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Here is mine. Then I would label them. So I would write B. On top of negative five, zero is Rochester, and then N for New York City. Now, how do I know which one's the lowest temperature? Well, the lowest temperature is the number that's further left on the number line. And in this case, Buffalo, represented by negative five, is furthest to the left. And that's how I know that that's the lowest temperature. 30. Water drains are at 325 milliliters per minute. What's the change in volume of the water after six minutes? Oh well, 325 negative, right, per minute times six. It's going to give me negative. So after six minutes, the tank is going to be down negative one. What's well, going to be down? Not 1,950 milliliters. milliliters. <clears throat> 31 on the marathon course a man is two miles behind Beverly and Chad's one mile behind ahead of Beverly how far are man and Chad well again this one the better tool would be a, a something like a line so we are comparing everyone to Beverly so let's put Beverly here man is above ahead of her so man in the front 
and that apparently is two units so let's make that two and Chad is one mile oh, sorry backwards Amanda is here two miles behind Beverly so I'll put Amanda so that's one two units and Chad is one mile ahead of Beverly, so Chad's over here. One unit. So how far apart are man and Chad? Well, it will be one, two, three miles, right? What's the difference? Difference means implies subtraction between three feet above sea level and 20 feet below sea level. So water here's a bird a bird three feet above sea level and there's a fish fish to which is 20 feet below sea level and we want a difference in elevation <coughs> so we would do three minus and this guy is negative 20 I will not take the absolute value, remember that. So you get 3 plus 20, find the absolute value. 3 plus 20 is 23, absolute value 23 is just 23. So the difference in elevation between the two of them is 23 feet. 33, a climber descends 345 feet per hour. What's the change in altitude? Well, negative 345 times 3, right? negative because it's descending so the change in altitude is going to be uh, um, 1035 feet that's the change in altitude after three hours and again a negative times positive is negative 35 34 eighth graders had a carnival the table shows the income and expenses so okay 650 they earn from the games positive 525 from table games they earn then they had to pay for some of decoration so that's plus negative plus negative 60 and prizes that they bought right to give away is minus plus negative 400 so how much money did they make at the end of the evening we would have them left with 715 dollars Thirty-five. Football team ooh, gained six yards. So again, remember football is supposed to carry the ball forward, right, and from one end of the field to the other end. <clears throat> so gained six yards. We're going to use positive six. Lost eight yards. We can write it as plus negative eight. Gained five yards. So they went forward five and on. On the third play, okay. To get a first down, they must gain ten yards in four plays. How many m yards must they gain on the fourth? All right, so they have three, four attempts, and it, uh, so what I put here it has to be a, has to be greater or equal to ten. Right, they have four attempts. You can throw the ball four times, and at the end your team has to move the ball at least 10 yards in order to continue playing. So, let's see what they have here. So 6 plus negative 8 is negative 2. They're not doing too well. Negative 2 plus 5 is going to be 3. So 3 plus what number? Right, it says they must gain 10 yards. 3 plus what number would give them that 10 yards that they need? Well, after 3 plays, they got 3, so obviously they need seven on the next play to keep possession and continue playing that question 36 you're playing a game audrey has negative two then jennifer has negative 11. how many more points does audrey have than jennifer <clears throat> so again this is a subtractive so think about let's say audrey making this up let's say Audrey had eight dollars and Jennifer 
at two dollars and I asked you how much more money does Audrey have than Jennifer well you would say eight minus two and you say Audrey has six more dollars well the same question here except that Audrey has negative two right and then Jennifer that's negative 11. If you think about it, Jennifer is a little bit further left on the number line, so she definitely has less money. So by how much how much more does Audrey have? Well, we would do negative 2 minus negative 11. I'll think about the same thing here, right? So negative 2, change that to an addition, it becomes plus 11. Negative 2 plus 11 is negative 9. And it is true, Audrey has, right? Sorry, not negative nine, positive nine, right? <clears throat> nine more than Jennifer, okay? Thirty-seven, an elevator six floors above ground, so we'll use that positive six there, and the other uh, elevator is two floors before the ground, so we're gonna write negative two, so how far are the elevators? Yeah. Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. So one elevator is at six. So let's call that elevator A. That's six. Elevator B, it's at negative two. How far apart are these two numbers? Well, <clears throat> you think about, well, if you want to draw a number line, you can call this zero. You can call this negative two and you can call this six. So how many floors, what's the distance between them two? Well, in this case, remember, we want the distance between them. How many floors are between them? I would definitely do this. And I subtract one from the other. 6 minus negative 2 or negative 2 minus 6. It doesn't matter. 6 minus negative 2. It's going to give me 6 plus 2, which is going to give me 8. And the absolute value of 8 is 8. So how many floors apart are them? 8 floors. Okay, and whether you did all this, or you did a little diagram here, you might have the same answer. 38, the temperature at dawn was negative 4. By noon, the temperature had risen. What was the temperature at noon? So, this is the starting temperature. Oops, the starting temperature. This is the change we want to find out. So, how do we find final? Final temperature equals... Oh, wait, wait, wait equals the starting plus the change. That's how we find final. So final is equal to the starting temperature, negative 4, plus the change. A change is positive. What's the final temperature? We end up at 16 degrees. Two more. Thank you. Okay, obstacle course score by awarding 10 points for every activity that is passed and 5 for every activity that is failed. Bob passed 4 activities and failed 3. Okay, so let's do Bob here. So Bob is passed 4, so he got 10 times 4. And then he failed 3 times, so we're 10 times 4. Plus, and how many times did he fail? 3 times. So we're going to plus, and let's find out how many. Would be negative 5 times loss, right? Times 3. So that is what we're going to use to find out how much, how many points Bob got. So Bob got 40 for passing, plus, and he got <coughs> 3 that he failed. 3 times 5 is negative 15. So at the end, he had 25 points. Tom passed 7, so it would be 10 times 7, plus. And he failed four activities, it will be negative five times four. That's 70 plus, and this is negative 20. So Tom is actually a little bit better because he got 50. A whale is 460 below water, so here's a whale. Let's write 460, negative 460 reaches out uh, the water to a height of 27. So, so here's the ocean, and I think it's saying that the whale is going to go up, right? He goes out, and that's 27 feet above 
sea level, what is the vertical distance the whale travels? So what is this distance that he traveled? <clears throat> so that's the final. That's the start. What's the change? Right? So we want to know this distance. He went from here all the way to up above the air. So the change is final. Final position of the whale is 27 degrees here, right? Final minus, what's the starting position? Negative 460. So, in this case, because we want the, the, the total distance, we're going to put in an absolute value. So, 27 <clears throat> plus 460, and that's going to be 487, and obviously. It's going to give us 487 feet traveled. Okay, a little bit long, agreed, but uh, you're going to have plenty of time. You have plenty of time to do this in class. So hopefully, most of it is done and you didn't have too much left to do at home.